Hi, I'm with Marine Taboy. Uh, he's the CMO at Genesis, and I'm at the Genesis Analyst Summit, and we've been hearing a lot about artificial intelligence. So, Marine, tell us about uh, what Genesis is doing in terms of AI. Sure. So, uh, thanks, Blair, for the opportunity, by the way, to talk about it. And you know, I can go on for hours, and I'll try to keep it short. Um, I think it's not a surprise that we think and believe that AI will have a massive impact on what we see in our industry and customer experience and the way that we engage and have customers engage with enterprises. Uh, we want to be on the forefront. We always want to be on the forefront. We have been innovating over the last 25 years and we'll keep on doing that. Uh, and we see AI as an augmentation of what we think is sensational customer experience. And we call that blended AI, Genesis blended AI. And we have Kate was the personification of all the engagement use cases that we're building where we leverage AI to, uh, to engage between customer, bots, and customer, and, uh, and, uh, and agents. Uh, augmentation and blended AI for us means two things. It means that we have bots cooperate and, and augment relationships that we have with agents. Uh, agents can use bots, bots can hand over to agents, uh, agents can hand back to bots, we can have multiple bots in one scenario. Uh, so bring your own bot is a scenario as well and we like to see banks and insurance companies, utilities build their own bots because we would like to put them in our orchestration platform and allow Kate to invite those bots to participate in customer engagement. We think we know a lot about customer experience. So what we build in AI and our AI engine will be mainly focusing on, on conversational models, on dialogues, uh, allowing to add the other bots that have the talk to talk and walk the walk capabilities around a certain product uh, into the conversation when we need to have that conversation. So that's one part. Uh, the other part uh, that we talk about quite a bit is on the routing side. Uh, we think that we can use AI to generate and create the next generation of routing. Um, you know that we do omnichannel routing, we do skill based routing. Uh, I think we do that better than anybody else in the industry. We're going to plug in some additional steroids and call that predictive routing, which is using AI to really find the best match between a customer and an agent, and that agent can be a bot as well. The agent doesn't have to be available, it can be in the contact center somewhere on a conversation, and we'll still use that capability to, uh, to route that call. As I said, we call that predictive routing, uh, launched in December this year, uh, so 2017, and we're looking forward to 2018 because we think it will make a big splash in, in everything that we do with AI. And then third but not least, so automation, predictive routing, the third one is that we believe there is a next innovation wave happening in WFO, workforce optimization. Uh, initially, especially around the planning capabilities in workforce management, new ways of forecasting, uh, using correlation capabilities, forgetting about traditional KPIs. Uh, and after that, we also think that AI will impact quite heavily on what's happening on the desktop, create a more fluid environment where we use real-time information to center the right information for the agent at the right time. Knowing that conversations might move from, uh, I'm really mad at you, I want to complain about this, to, okay, I'm going to buy that offer from you, right? So you move from a complaint to a sales cycle. It requires different information at the agent desktop, and we'll focus on that as well. So you have your own Kate, and then uh, the other day you also made an announcement about integration with Amazon mm -hmm. Lex. Can you talk about that a little? Yeah, so in the Pure Cloud domain, we integrate with Amazon Lex. Pure Cloud is our offer. Uh, for the, for the medium business. Uh, it's running on an Amazon platform uh, today, and we integrated Amazon Lex as a, as a bot, more or less, conversational uh, capability into that platform as well. Uh, so this is where we bring your own bot, so blended AI comes to fruition. Uh, and the Amazon Lex could play there, but we could also invite any other bot to participate in that same conversation. So bring your own bot, blended AI capability. And then uh, you're also using uh, AI internally. Uh, like with your website and so t right. tell us a little about how you're using AI internally. Yeah, I would like my website as a CMO, I would like my website to be the product, right? So, the, uh, so everything that we do is much more digitally, much more web, much more mobile oriented than it used to be. And uh, so we're using AI, I would like to use Kate to welcome customers that come to our website for the first time that I don't really know. Uh, invite them into our website by saying, hey, I'm Kate, how can I help you today? And personalize the experience from that moment onwards. So derive information out of the conversation that we will have with that customer. And not just plump them into a home page or into a landing page, but allow the customer to have a personalized experience that we can repeat next time as he comes back. So Kate makes friends and allows me to understand what AI really does, especially in my domain, business to business or business to business to consumer, uh, to see how AI can help me. So yes, I will use every tool that I have on my own domains as well. What about augmented um, reality or artificial um, artificial reality? Right. So, the, so I'm a big fan of that, right? And uh, I think that there is a... Uh, virtual a, reality. That's virtual the word. reality. <laughs> Uh, artificial reality, whatever reality, right? <laughs> so there are so many realities that blend together. Um, 
I think there's a lot of marketing and sales use cases that can be made. Uh, we've been toying and testing it for, for quite a bit. Um, uh, two, three years ago, I think we went live for the first time with a virtual data model. And the virtual data model allowed you in a virtual reality mode to walk and work through your uh, operational data. Uh, we started moving towards combining virtual and augmented reality much more in a customer use case scenario. Uh, where, you, for instance, if you're a company that sells hospitality, you have the possibility to allow customers to enter a virtual reality domain and show what the hotel rooms are like, or the experience would be like from a tour perspective, uh, directly accessible from email invites and elements like that. That's one. Uh, the other thing where we see that augmented reality is really relevant is in, in the support domain, uh, where mechanics are fixing elements and uh, allow yourself to be connected to a person that's managing an augmented reality domain that helps you uh, make sure that you do the right correction or the right fixes. Uh, so it's a great training tool and it's a way to add expertise from a central location to uh, mechanics on the road. Uh, so that's where we see augmented and virtual reality going right now. Um, we will keep on building prototypes. Uh, somewhere down the road the equipment will be very easy to get by and, and very easy to implement in an, in an orchestration platform and we'll be ready for that as well. Great, well thank you so much Maureen. Thank you Blair.